Sinon, je n'aurai le train de jour comme si ne Et tu approches moi, dis-moi qui tu m'aimes. Fais-moi sourire, bonne et de requiem. T'as quoi ça aussi? Hey guys, how are you doing? The Czech Republic has been under lockdown more than a month and I've been at home pretty much since then. I've got plenty of time, of course, which means only one thing. Let's talk about Eurovision and it has been a long time since I talk about Eurovision. So four years ago, Jamal took the trophy to Kyiv and I knew I would be traveling to the host country to see the grand final. I was checking the website every single day in order not to miss any details about the tickets because I believed that I would be able to get the tickets. Well, guess what? I didn't, right? It was so within eight minutes, guys. It was insane. And at that point, I thought to myself, okay, you are working on Saturday anyway, so it's not really worth going there for just a one day. And then about two weeks before the semi-final, the Czech delegation organized a small gig with Polish representative Kasia as a guest star here in Prague, and the tickets were just five euros. really great chance to meet Martina, probably the only chance to see her performing live before the Eurovision. So I kind of forced my boyfriend and sister to go with me. We were standing near the table of our Czech delegation, which I didn't know at the time, listening to both Martina and Kasia singing their Eurovision songs and some covers. Yeah, the fever that's so hard to burn You give me fever When you kiss me Fever when you hold me tight Fever in the morning After an hour or so, there was a break for fans to come up to Martina, to talk to her, to take pictures with her. It might not look like that, but I'm quite shy among people that I don't know. Moreover, I don't like to disrupt strangers. So I didn't even think of taking pictures with her actually. But my sister had clearly a different idea. She gave me her phone and she wanted me to take a picture of her and Martina. But before I could do so, a tipsy man came up to me. He grabbed the phone from my hand and he wanted me to be in the pictures as well. He did take several pictures of me, Martina and my sister. However, all of them were blurry and then he started asking me questions about Eurovision. So I told him how I went to Stockholm even though I didn't have the tickets for the grand final, how I wasn't able to get the tickets for this grand final either. And you know what he told me? He said, you should have texted me. I had extra tickets and I didn't know what to do with them. Well, I didn't know him back then. And then he told me, come to Kiev, I'm gonna get you the ticket at least for the rehearsal. And that was it. I went home after the concert and I booked myself the tickets to Kiev. I'm sad that I didn't vlog the whole experience as I did when I was in Stockholm. But I will show you at least the snips of my top 10 that I recorded during the grand final. So without further ado, let's start. In the 10th place is Imre and his song I Feel Alive. giving us a taste of summer vibes that makes you want to dance and party at the sea. I can actually imagine myself being on the boat, wearing bikini and going nuts, Ibiza kind of style, you know. Well, I really enjoyed the song from the first listening. 
the music video was great what i didn't like though was the staging they went for in key i don't think the red and black were the good colors for this particular song they should have chosen something more lighter something more summery i don't know it just doesn't fit the song at all and don't even get me started on choreography it was just lame it felt like a zumba for middle-aged people to be honest personally i expected more from the backup dancers uh the fire effects the fire effects were cool and they did hit the arena for a bit but yet again not really suitable for the song the ninth place belongs to norway so when it's all or nothing i put my nerves in the coffin so when it's all or nothing i put my nerves in the coffin anybody to discourage you from pursuing your dreams just grab the moment and do whatever you want i really like the message and i personally feel like it's really appealing to all millennials the song itself is quite interesting because it's a mixture of pop and electronics and believe it or not it works this is actually a perfect song that you want to listen to in the club when you are going out number eight is nathan who likes running on air <laughs> about Austria's entry from the music video where he's running through the forest to the staging where he ends up being on the moon the song is ordinary yet really nice and so cute that you cannot help but smile during his performance it's so cute moving on to number seven it's the sex guy <laughs> the song at all i actually find it quite annoying but once i heard the rehearsal i started liking it the staging was great and their happy feet dance move was so addictive i felt like the whole arena was dancing with them next is my beloved france <laughs> but it dropped to the sixth place after they had changed the original version i just like it more without the english part which in my opinion was not necessary the first time i heard the song it kind of remind me of stromae i don't know how and i don't know why but i just fell in love with it in the middle is the czech republic and i didn't put it there because it's my country but because i genuinely like the song Baby, it's
compare what others said about it being too boring, too ordinary, not really suitable for Eurovision. Although it does not stand out from the sea of ballads, sometimes the beauty is in simplicity. Obviously, the rest of Europe did not agree with me and therefore we did not qualify. And let me just say that Martina is such a sweetheart and I know this is not enough to win the contest or to qualify to the finals, but she had the warmest and the cutest personality of all the contestants that year. The fourth place is reserved to Sweden. You got me good. You got me good. I was literally obsessed with the song. I don't even know how many times I pressed the repeat button. It was like watching the Swedish version of Justin Timberlake. The song is quite mainstream oriented and I love it. As for the choreography, Sweden always comes with something original. It was like being at the fashion show and in the gym at the same time. I mean, they were dancing on the treadmills wearing suits. Who does that? It's just for awesomeness if you ask me. So in the third place, we have Hungary. I didn't like the song at the beginning, but the more I heard it, the more it grew in me. And although I didn't understand a single word that he was singing, I could still feel his emotions. It's quite different from the other entries like Jamalas in 2016, for example. He's singing about the struggle of being an immigrant and about love, obviously. And as a Vietnamese living in the Czech Republic, the song connects with me in every way. And my second place goes to Bulgaria. <laughs> participant yet he managed to steal my heart. The song is mesmerizing, the lyrics are completely wonderful and his voice is so hypnotizing. And the first place goes to Portugal. <laughs> Salvador is an artist with a capital A. He doesn't care about the trends in the music industry. He doesn't even care about trends in Eurovision. He just produces the music that he likes, that he believes in, and that makes him happy. This is far from mainstream. It's actually the saddest and the most adorable love song that I've heard. And I just like how his music speaks through his body. You can feel every single word that he's singing even though he's singing Portuguese. He's like a little shy bird with a voice that can touch your soul. So I think he is well deserved winner. Only eight Oh my god, oh my god! So it is Portugal. There are only two countries that have to receive their points from your telephone. Gotta be. Oh. The team oh. 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 The second highest score with 337 points is...
Bulgaria! That was my top 10. What was your top 10 in 2017? Write it down below in the comment section. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and tune in for more Eurovision related videos. I promise they are coming even though it might take some time. Until then, stay home, stay safe and take care of yourself. Bye!